What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It looks like teen mom OG star Farrah Abraham is getting ready to cast actors for a movie, a biopic on her very own life. Remember, she had a New York Times uh, best-selling book called My Teenage Dream ended about, you know, her life growing up. She, she talks about her drug use, her relationship with her baby daddy, Derek, the late Derek Underwood, um, abuse, a little bit of abuse within her family and stuff like that, but she never really got too, too into what happened with her family and everything. But I feel like in this movie, especially now that she's estranged, like heavily estranged from her, mo from her mom, she is ready to let loose and air it all out. I kind of feel like this is what Deborah was alluding to when she appeared on part two of the Teen Momoji season seven reunion special. Remember, she told Dr. Drew she was very concerned about, you know, the scripted projects that Farah was taking on and the people she was surrounding herself with. You know, not the pornos that she was shooting or anything like that, the scripted projects. And what could be more nerve wracking to someone like Deborah than being exposed by Farah, especially now that their relationship has hit an all time low. I'm 100% here for it. I never read her book, My Teenage Dream Ended, so this is gonna be my first time really like getting a Farah's side of like everything that went on in her life. Um, but I know that quite a few of you have talked about it and said that, you know, she really bared it all when it came to her drug abuse and stuff like that and her relationship with Derek. But at the same time, a lot of you guys in the same breath felt like Farah exaggerated some things um, and also outright lied about some other things as well. So it's really interesting to see where in all of this the truth lies and remember when it comes to movies and stuff like that they've got to be dramatized like hell in order to be funded and to keep an audience so again my instagram friend angel underscore the underscore penguin tipped me off to this and i grabbed this photo from starcasm so this is what the casting noticed that farah abraham posted to her instagram story says based off a true story new york times best-selling book and international sensation farah abraham a memoir and and international story that has touched many lives worldwide. Please email your headshot, bio location, IMDB link, and social profiles too, and then it gives all of the information on how to submit yourself. Something really funny about Starcasm's write-up about all of this was if you go to their website, you'll see that they kind of casted who they'd like to see in different roles in Farah's life. And so when it came to Simon Saran, one of the options was really like serious. I forgot who it was, but it was a serious actor that you would recognize by name. Um, and then they're like, well, if she's taking like a comedic route, Aziz Ansari would be like the perfect fit. And I freaking love Aziz's show, Master of None, and just like his way of acting. And can you imagine him being in a Pharaoh biopic? I feel like Aziz is so underrated and his Netflix show is so underrated. Like he would bring so much to the table. I think Farrah could only dream of having him in her project. When it comes to Farah, like they say, I agree. I think Farah is going to be trying to play herself and she would probably have Sophia play herself as well. I think that it's okay for Farah to play herself because, you know, she's a grown woman and stuff. But Sophia playing herself, especially considering the fact that Farah is probably going to like really, really dramatize a lot of things like as it comes to, you know, Sophia, I don't think would be the smartest or healthiest choice for her. So I do hope that she doesn't go that route and instead chooses, you know, a professional actor who's so far removed from the story to do that, you know, just, just to help Sophia. I don't even really think Sophia should be watching this movie at this age, not for like another decade or so at the very least. You guys, what do you think about the fact that Farrah's coming out with a movie? Where do you think the budget for this is even coming from? Like, is it gonna be like a low budget basement, you know, Andrew Glennon production? Or is it gonna be a legitimate production? Leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and as usual we'll chat you can also like this video as well and feel free to follow me across social media where i absolutely love chatting with you that's all for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time